Fifth graders, you know what to do, so do it. Pause the video. All right, let's see how wonderful he did. Numerator times numerator, nine times nine. Denominator times denominator, 10 times 2 is 20. Ask yourself the two questions. Is it an improper fraction? No. Is it in simplest form? Yes. 9 20 is the answer. The next one. 5 6 times 1 third. Pause video. Solve that problem. Do it right. All right, let's see how wonderful you did. Five times one is five. Six times three is 18. Is this an improper fraction? No. Is this in simplest form? Yes. So that's the answer. Last. Multiplication practice, 4 sevenths times 7 ninths. Pause the video, get it right. All right, let's see how wonderful you did. 4 times 7 is 28. 7 times 9 is 63. Now, is this an improper fraction? No. Is this in simplest form? No. The greatest common factor of 28 and 63 is 7. So if you got 28 over 63 as your answer, you're wrong. You had to simplify. 27 divided by, I'm sorry, 28 divided by 7 is 4. 63 divided by 7 is 9. 4 ninths is the answer if you are smart now let's do some review problems your favorite eight and four ninths plus three and one third solve that problem pause the video All right, let's see how good you did. What did the least common denominator end up being? Nine. Nine times one is nine. Four times one is four. Three times three is nine. One times three is three. So, this is an addition problem, so you must add the numerator. 4 plus 3 is 7. Bring down the denominator. Now, is this an improper fraction? No. Is this in simplest form? Yes. So now I just add my whole number. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 and 7 ninths. There you go. Last problem. 5 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 1 half. Do that problem. Now, pause the video. All right. I hope you borrowed on this one because you have to borrow. Now, if you did not borrow, Pause video again and fix your bad answer because it's wrong. If you did borrow, let's check. The least common denominator for this one ended up being 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. So, 
Now, I cannot subtract 1 minus 2, so I must come over to the 5, borrow 1, make it a 4, and I bring that 1 over here as 4 over 4. Because 4 is my denominator. Add these two fractions together, 1 plus 4. Five, and then my denominator stays the same. I'm going to bring this one over. Now I can subtract. Five minus two is three. My denominator stays the same. Is that an improper fraction? No. Is that in simplest form? Yes. So now I can just subtract my whole numbers. Four, not five. Four minus two. Is two. Two and three fourths ended up being the truth. And as you know, the truth shall set you free. So there you go, you little fifth graders. Now you need to get busy with your assignments right now. So get to work you little fifth graders, and make a good grade.